hi everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Uemimo and I'm also gonna start mom of five I know by the title you will be surprised that uh, was this woman coming in with today so I've been watching the real housewives of Lagos and girl I just didn't want to miss it because when I saw the layout of women that were gonna be in this reality show I was like nah girl I need to watch it but fortunately to our UK or abroad people it is not on Netflix it is not on Amazon it is not on what was it called again I can't remember the other channel it's not available on there you can only watch it on show Mac. so if you are if you have an Android phone or an Apple phone if you go onto your Play Store and download the show Max, um app you can watch it from there but before you're able to watch this real housewives of lagos you will have to pay like a subscription fee i think when i subscribe i think i paid about three pounds something for a monthly subscription and i have been watching it from episode one but the episode one to six were just dulling me hence why i did not bring it up here but um today the episode seven that i watched it was full of receipts it was full of like drama so at first let's introduce the ladies in this um real housewives of lagos so the first woman on the show is laura ikeji kano so laura ikeji is a professional writer so they say she's a blogger she's an entrepreneur and she's an online entertainment and she has a blog or an online show called hey laura so i'll pop her image somewhere for you so the second lady which we have is a beautiful caroline orchins and she is the ceo of orchins limited and she has um real estate she's into oil and gas and agriculture company she's making all the dough and then the third woman is Chioma Ikoku. So Chioma is a Nigerian lawyer and she's also a C the CEO of Good Hair Limited and she's a restauranter as well. She's got a bar and a lounge bar. And the fourth woman, obviously, as we all know, is Toyin Lawani Adeboy Adebayo, popularly known as Tiana's Empire. So she is a multiple business owner and she's known also as a fashion goddess. And then the number five lady on this show. Let me adjust my heart. Mm -hmm. And the number five lady on this show is the popular Nigerian Nollywood actress Iyabo Ojo. She's an actress and she's also a multiple business owner. And the last but not the least is the delectable Miriam Tima. She is a PR expert, she's a creative director, she is an online fashion retailer, she is a content creator, and also a YouTuber like Moa she's a youtuber so that's just a rundown of the women on this show so let's dive straight to episode seven yeah so episode seven started with miriam inviting the women to her house for dinner so um yabo joe toyin lawani tiana and laura ikeji were the first three to uh, i mean to arrive at um miriam's house and so when they all arrived they were all looking gloom like pressing on their phone they were not talking to one another and stuff like that and they took forever the hostess miriam to come down to acknowledge our guest so eventually she came down and then she went to laura giving her you no know, she went to um Tony Lawa and Etiana first to give her a peck and all, you know, there was a touching and then she went over to Laura. Laura just gave her a one peck without holding, like she was avoiding holding Miriam. And Miriam was like, what is wrong with you? Touch me, hold me now. That was when I knew, gang, gang, this is not about to go down well. Then she went over to Yabojo and gave Yabojo a peck as well. And Miriam sat down with the ladies. They were having a chat as well. And then uh, Miriam brought about, brought a gift bag for the three women. It's got like book and stuff inside of it so they were talking in terms of like you know how things are so they started with the why um i think the highlight of that previous first view or first clip for me was that they went to touch on about abuse and you know being a victim obviously a lot Tony Lawani was talking that um yabo Ju is not really a troublesome person obviously being a victim of an abuse and molestation she's very very outspoken like when she hears story of any child or anyone being abused she's always at the forefront of stuff like that so that was the first time i would hear that even tony lawani herself the fashion goddess who was also an abuse victim she shared how her ex would beat her up and stuff like that 
and all this while Laura was like oh well I would say since the beginning of the episode or since the beginning of the show this is the first time I've ever seen Laura show any form of empathy so she showed her saying that oh that was the first time she like she actually felt for the women talking about the experiences of having been in an abusive relationship so all this while while they were chatting Chioma and Caroline were nowhere to be found so long story short Chioma and Caroline arrived five hours later and by this time the other women already moved to the dining to have their dinner so before then they were going to go but Tony Lawani was like um, let's hold on a few seconds and Tony Lawani has always voiced out the fact that Caroline and Chioma always arrive late at any event and she's not a fan of that that people should stop wasting her time so Tony Lawani has always voiced that out from day one and she was not so happy but this time around she was like oh let's wait a while longer and hopefully they will arrive so by the time they sat at dinner table that was when Choma and Caroline arrived so Caroline and Choma arrived they were all sitting at the table obviously immediately came Choma came and she brought a wee um, flower like a bouquet and obviously Miriam being a bouquet lover so her hunger level went from 50 to a 10 because obviously she loved the gesture Chioma did like bringing the bouquet for her so she was not like gonna tear Chioma up so they all sat down at the table and I love the fact that Chioma apologized obviously she brought a flower which is a gesture of an apology Caroline also apologized so when they served their first um first set or whatever it is on their dinner they were like oh how do you eat this and Miriam was like fuck fuck it's just like a it's just like a donut you're eating a donut or you're like eating a pop off or something you know posh people so while they were sitting Yabo you were like ladies I need to address this issue of being absent and Yabo went on about you know what it's nothing nothing beats being a regular person at when there's an event that she doesn't like the idea of being late to people's event that you're an old you're an adult you should always be punctual and stuff like that so at that point they were showing each other like no if you're going to talk to me directly call my name you know so eventually as yabo was talking yabo was like oh you choma choma you are the you are the governor governor of being late that i give the award to you that you know let's try and be punctual and yeah along the line choma apologized but at the same time choma was saying that if they kept on going about her being late that she's just gonna lose it out she knows she's late but then she's been busy she had three clients and stuff like that and also caroline apologized as well like, it's been a gloomy day maybe it was raining or something i don't know but she did apologize as well all this why immediately the immediately choma and caroline um came in laura's attitude just changed like she wasn't talking to anybody she was acting as if she doesn't want to be there she went on about putting like a napkin across her face she was just like her attitude suddenly changed and i'm thinking i'm beginning not to like laura's attitude for me from the note i've come i've prepared here i'm just going to give a short script of what's happening in the video so laura she was acting cold and prepared for wild willings like she was prepared for drama she loves drama she loves attention so like i said earlier on that she gave miriam a side hug and miriam was like why are you not holding me like come on hold me laura later said when they were doing personal snippet that she was not feeling herself and like i said earlier on that was the first time i saw laura show any form of empathy when they were talking about the case of abuse and stuff like that so like I said, she would stop talking when Caroline and Chioma arrived. And then Tony Lawani was trying to be like, oh, Chioma, these are like trying to get her in the mood. And at some point, Laura was like, Tony, you are doing too much. And that got Tony mad. And then Tony was like, F U C K, Laura, like, I'm not going to look at you again. I'm not going to talk to you again. Do whatever you want to do. So at the end of the day, I felt Laura was being childish. She's got an issue with her personality, which she needs to grow up with. Like, if you're on online, doing all this i'm happy i'm this i'm that and then you're in a group of ladies like you why are you being bitchy why are you acting as if um you're bigger than or you are better than them it's better you give your excuse and not attend than being there and you're diverting everything that's meant to be happening so that was what our laura came about when they were having dinner so as for yabo obviously yabo always happy you know but however she was not happy with the lateness yabo called Chioma to change in regards to being absent and Chioma apologized and then she eventually focused on Chema that you are the governor of being late, stop being late. So Chem, I mean Yabo Ju as your caller, Auntie Yabo, she's always trying to like solve issue, but she has her own backbiting cases as well. So that's um Yabo in that aspect. So Tiana, like I said, she was trying to get Laura to start talking in the group, but 
Laura put her in her place like you're doing too much let me be you know at some point they were like maybe because she was served champagne because I think Laura said she doesn't drink alcohol but that evening she I think she was giving champagne or something maybe that was what contributed to her acting the way she was acting but now no matter how much champagne, it's not as maybe she drank 20 glasses and that attitude was just not right at all so Tiana told her to F U C K that I'm not going to try and make you be a part of this table. If you don't want to be here, that's your problem. If you've got an attitude, that's your problem. She's not going to deal with that. So as for Caroline, also Caroline apologized and she gave an excuse of it being a gloomy day. And then she will also object to Yabo talking about being late. That yeah, we got be late, but we've apologized. Like I said, Laura, I mean Caroline apologized to everybody on the table for being late. And to also Miriam, like, you know what? I apologize is your home. And I believe if you're invite people to your home for dinner people should try and respect the time because obviously you need to put your kids to bed and stuff like that so she apologized for that and i think i love them um, caroline for doing that then choma like i said choma you no know, with all of her sauciness you no know, i never knew she was a lawyer no wonder the way she speaks you no know, with the way she dresses them nigerian lawyers when you have money though i know how they react so obviously like I said, she bought a bouquet for Miriam to apologize for her lateness and stuff like that. And then we now went on to after dinner. So they went upstairs to Miriam's um, rooftop for a karaoke and they were all singing. Tony Lawani was talking away. Like, obviously, Laura that was being cool, like, no one wanted to talk to anybody. All of a sudden, she was singing, dancing, doing all sorts of Like, they had fun. They had karaoke on the beach, on the on the hill and the rooftop so it was a good and happy atmosphere so that was how that went and then they showed i think the following day um they show, and by the way i love miriam's house she's got a very beautiful home oh god give me money let me build that kind of house in jesus name amen so miriam has a very beautiful home and i really commend her for that so after the um a day after the dinner they showed um Chioma Good Hair in her shop. So Chioma has a foundation called Good Way Foundation whereby she's more about um, eradicating poverty, healthcare, empowering girl child and eradication of sickle cells. So she was packing packages and stuff to go give to all those children and then Caroline came over to give her a hand. So while Chioma was packing, Miriam called Chioma to, to, to start talking about Laura that why was Laura so bitchy and that she had no reason that Chioma, Laura had no reason to behave the way she was behaving at the dinner table that she asked her chef who served them drinks that she had any sort of alcohol to have contributed to the way the, she was acting and they were like no there was nothing in there for her to behave the way she behaved and Miriam was not so happy like you know what at the end of the day Shema was like, you know what, the way she was dissing the dinner and she was saying that the food was not good, that she does not like the food. Like, <laughs> Shema said, it seems Laura has a brain touch. Like, she's getting ch 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 Like, she get that crackling in her brain. She behaves and then when that crackling goes again, she just, you know, behaves. I felt she was just being childish. If you don't want to be somewhere, don't be there. You're not forced. And at some point, Laura was talking about um, that Chema thinks she's being intimidated by the way she dresses. Like, if you think for her, for the fact that you're saying that, I believe Laura is actually being intimidated about Laura, I mean, Chema's presence. Maybe Laura is jealous of how, like, Chema, I mean, Chema will come late and showcase what she's wearing. Like, if that's your problem, you to meet up like that now. You to appear in what she's been coming in like i just don't understand why she's the one who's always looking for trouble like she's a drama queen and when you're in the midst of women like you successful women like you you should have like a very classy business woman like a match world one stop acting like a 16 year old teenager eh that's you laura that's you so afterwards um they started showing um text messages of like how laura did the dinner miriam had and then when they showed Chioma and Caroline in the car when they were going for their foundation outreach and then they started showing bad ghost messages that Chioma was ex I mean that Laura was exchanging with Caroline. So Laura started dropping messages on the WhatsApp. I think there's a WhatsApp group for the real women of house real housewives of Lagos, like a group so that they can plan their itinerary. Like if you want to plan something, they can communicate with one another. So I believe within this WhatsApp group. Laura started dropping text messages in the group dissing Caroline. I think no matter what what's been happening in the beginning, no matter all the apologies that Laura and Chioma and whatever and Caroline has apologized to one another, Laura will never ever like Caroline. That's a point black 
like a point fact today she would never like caroline and the way caroline is she already says that she's just trying to be good to laura because the other women there don't want any drama but the way it is with these text messages going on i'll try and put a screenshot of this message somewhere so you guys can read it it was all shady like at some point laura called um laura called caroline a like a whore she called out that in the messages there and then at some point caroline mentioned in the text message that laura was being pimped to a certain nigerian governor that she's the one who is like doing all this roadside walk up her banda that she has no class that laura is the one who went to rent a house in banana island just because she wants to lie and show off to people like living the fake life that laura is a ghetto girl and stuff like that that she's always proving to be what she doesn't she's not when she's the middle of a classic girl and all of this stemmed from the fact that caroline and chioma arrived late and then caroline brought us back to the fashion show chioma i mean laura had last week where she invited the women and this program was delayed by six hours so you said your show was going to start at maybe four two o'clock and did not start till little like six hours later so if your own show can be delayed for six hours why are you angry that somebody arrived at a dinner for so 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 time even the host of the party was not moaning but you that you are attending why have you taken that up as a business of yours so Caroline made that FM that reflection saying that you know our program our fashion show was there for six hours only for them to go there and be watching nightwear like nightgown those clothes she paraded that a fashion line that they were like trashy chairman was like those kind of clothes are what she wear in her house and she would never wear it out and stuff like that in fact she would wear them to bed never wear them out and stuff like that so there was a lot of messages being exchanged like there was lots of bad bad blues like Caroline was like I'm coming for you Laura and laura was like you know i'm coming for you like she was ditching like dissing caroline a lot saying that caroline was um laying with small boys and caroline replied that saying that if i'm laying with small boys mention their names bring the receipt of the small boys i was having fun with play i mean put it bare on the table don't come for me so obviously yabba tried to call him um caroline while caroline was in chairman's car and caroline was like what she was not feeling like she doesn't feel like talking to anybody right now and stuff like i know stuff like that yeah but obviously she's one of the eldest amongst the group she's always trying to bring like you know things straight back if there's an argument she likes to bring everybody to get a closure and just move on from it but this time around choma is not having it caroline is not having it either so i just felt like you know what um laura i felt like laura is just being intimidated she she saw these five other women and she knows that they are more successful than her and nothing stops you like Laura, Caroline made fun of Laura that she doesn't even know what a lamb chop is so if you think you are a big girl like a content creator you are a writer you would know what even me that in this my local glass good I am I know what a lamb chop is so for the fact that it's like she's claiming to be rich a content blogger and whatever like that she doesn't know what a lamb chop is like I think that was a big bass boost on Laura's face so you know um I just felt like laura is a drama queen she needs to grow up so if you're gonna go like laura is always tight like she's ready for trouble and if you're meeting fellow women like you why are you always so like geared up ready to fight when others are just coming there to showcase their fashion sense to have a nice time but for you you are ready for wild like you are ready for bass boots you're ready for wild like wild lens so i think laura needs to grow up and if you don't want to be in the show just excuse yourself stop i mean stop creating enmity in the instance there this argument this fight you're having with caroline is based on the fact that caroline had an issue with um, linda ikeji like i said you can't fight linda ikeji's fight let your sister linda ikeji fight her own fight you think because you are because we're saying that um linda is your sister if anybody comes for your family do you think all, all these women also will not put up a fight if anybody comes for their family you're not the only one who has a family leave your sister linda to fight a fight you are in the real housewife of lagos focus on it enjoy it try and build relationship don't try and be like all over the place i just don't like the attitude the kind of attitude that um laura is displaying there so far I give it up for Chioma that she knows she's a late comma and she apologized for it. Also, Caroline also she arrived late, she gave her a reason and she apologized for it. And I think this time around Toyin Lawa and Etiana is starting to see the side of Laura. Even though Toyin Lawa and he knew Laura for a very long time, but I don't think she's ever seen this side of Laura when Laura told her that Toyin, you are doing too much, let me be. 
and I guess that's done it for Tony. So she knows to leave Laura on her side. So I think that's the breakdown um from this real housewife so like i said i'll try and drop those text messages here so you can read and also if you want to see the next bass ghost that is going to be happening in the next episode don't forget to like this video comment in the comment section if you are watching let me know and also share and i'll drop a snippet of what's to happen next week here so be, be i mean be sure to come back to come and watch that bass goes and like i said the highlight in this episode for me was the fact that Chioma, she's like you know out there empowering young girls she has a foundation i believe um tiana did something like that um in previous two episodes where she on her birthday she did not celebrate this year on her birthday she went to the streets to give um people money like praying bottle praying mat to all these people which i feel what felt was a great gesture as well so i mean so far what do you think do you think laura as a reason to justify why she's behaving like that and for those who are always late comers they've apologized do you think they should be butchered all over the uh, every time they arrive at a at an event late i understand as well what um caroline said that by them, i respect the fact that you invited us to the house and it's quite rude that you know if you say you come to my house at social time i expect you to come at that time so that when you leave i can have enough time to put my kids to bed and do other things in the house i actually understand and i love the fact that caroline came up with that too miriam and miriam was so happy with that and i guess that's like both of them trying to build the relationship together again so like I said this comes to the end of this data for on real housewives of lagos that is laura got pimped to a nigerian governor so be sure to come back here next week so I can drop the full details of the bus boost, which is a snippet here, so you can come back and get the full details there. So hope to see you in the next one. Bye. And this app, I was just trying to look look part of the show. That's why I got this app. So catch this guys later.